Welcome to the Young Hang Hot Rod Shop. Hello everyone, my name is Bill Rule and you are deep in the bowels of the Young Hang Hot Rod Shop. As some of you may have noticed, I've made a few modifications to my CS4. After all, this is a hot rod shop, is it not? Before we get to that and our eagerly awaited fill test results, I wanted to thank the supporters of this channel. They are the true heroes in the airgun world. Also, consider using my Amazon links even if you don't intend to buy a compressor or a bit discussed on the channel today. Amazon does reward me for the traffic I send their way. I've had feedback from some viewers that they are just not comfortable with the level of skills needed to install an hour meter from scratch. I hear you, and I get it. I wanted to put together a process and a method to make adding one of these easier. I wanted one on mine before I started all this testing work because I knew I would rack up some runtime in a hurry. The key to meaningful maintenance in part is knowing when it needs to be done. Let me know in the comments if you would be interested in a simple kit that makes the hole in the metal shell easy and the wiring side a simple plug and play affair. And I'll package this up for you guys. They just want a plug and pray, or I mean plug and play approach. I also added a flow meter. It works fine, but I'm not wild about having it hang out so far outside the case. I'll put the link to this one and the fittings in the description, but I have a much more elegant solution in mind and I'm actively developing a prototype. The new solution will be literally drop in and will take about 10 seconds to install. Now onto the real reason you are all here, the test results. So the first test was the fill of a half liter bottle from 0 to 4,500 PSI. We used my original CS2, my well-used CS3, and the new CS4. I was dubious after the results from the previous episode where we saw quite a delta in the deadhead test. I was a little concerned. Turns out that delta is very likely due to the very different volumes in the total volume of the space needed to be filled by the CS2 and 3 versus the CS4. The output rate of the CS4 is in fact higher than the CS2 and 3. Let's look at those test results real quick. Here is the CS2 test run. Here's the CS3. And finally the CS4. As you can see, the two smaller units were close to each other at 19 minutes 37 seconds for the 2, and 20 minutes 44, 44 seconds for the 3. Let's call that a draw. My CS3 has many more hours on it than the 2 does, so it's earned a few seconds of grace. How did the CS4 measure up? Did it beat them? It filled the half liter bottle in 16 minutes 5 seconds. Jason promised up to 15% greater flow rate and the test indicates 22.98 or 23%. It should be noted that the test results are actually better than the marketing claims. So well done there GX. Does that alone justify the higher price, physically larger, heavier unit and greater power consumption? For filling guns directly, I don't think it does. But, and this is a huge but, what happens when you want to fill a larger bottle? Well, friends, the CS4 stands alone here. Its higher fill rate and liquid cooling really do shine at this task. I used my 6.75 liter Scott SCBA bottle to test the fill time and feasibility of such a lofty goal 
and it actually did quite well. Here, for you via all the movie magic I could muster, is the super condensed fill of a 6.75 liter bottle. Yes, that was from 0 to 4500 PSI in 3 hours, 15 minutes, and a few seconds. At no point during the fill was I not able to hold my finger on the case of the flow meter, which should be pretty close to the temperature of the coolant. The air flowing out of the real heat dissipation hole, or the vent for the fan blowing over the small radiator, seemed to be ejecting heat like a boss. I'd say they got the cooling on the CS4 right. Am I dubious of a little aquarium pump they are using? Yeah, but I will also note that they actually have a second level of thermal protection that will actually shut the unit down should you either not have enough coolant, coolant flow, or your pump fails. So good on them for adding that feature. Bottom line, this fill of a mid-sized bottle was well within the 5-hour maximum run envelope they allude to in the ad copy. Is the CS4 a good value for you? If you want to fill guns directly and do not see the need to lug around a finite vessel of high-pressure air, or your carbon fiber bottle, then no, the 2 and the 3 work great for that job. Now, if you want to be able to do both, then the CS4 will make good sense for you. They can definitely play a role of feeding your PCP obsession well into the future. In our next look at the CS4, let's gather some temperature data from a few points inside the unit and see what's going on under the hood. Thanks for joining me, and a big thanks to the supporters of the channel. You guys make this possible. Consider becoming a member yourself, or just hit the thanks for a one-time donation. Be a light in the darkness, friends, and go fly some pellets.